Hi everybody, Melissa here from Buck's Beautiful Bits and I'm in my kitchen garden today and I am here to talk to you about wasps. Especially this kind of wasp, the kind of wasp that make these beautiful paper homes for themselves. This is called a ball-faced hornet or white-faced hornet. The populations start from one to 400 by the end of the season. The neat thing is, is that they are a beneficial insect for your garden. So if they're not in a bad space and they're not bothering you in any which way, you can just leave them. Wasps are actually not like a bee. A bee is a nectar and pollen eater, primarily. The wasp is a meat eater and eats soft body insects like caterpillars and aphids. I knew when I saw this one being built right behind me that it was going to be a great season for me and my vegetable garden because I knew that there was an army of 400 attacking all the bad pests. This is a very interesting hive. It starts out by a little small disc like an umbrella and it forms three to four tiers of umbrellas inside this envelope that they make. This is all done by their mandibles, wood po and pollen mixed with some fibrous, even cardboard, uh, tree sap, all mixed in their mandibles and actually placed in these striations as you see in this each time. It's amazing. They're great paper makers. They make this envelope around their actual hive of these tiers. The tiers are faced downward and the cells hold all of their baby eggs. The pupa, the larva, and how this does not fall out is a mystery, right? Not really. The larva is actually wet and sticky and it sticks to the paper cells. That's how it stays in the cell and creates a new bee. They do not use these nests twice. After the second frost in fall into going into winter, they completely abandon the nest and the old queen and some of the workers stay behind and they unfortunately freeze to death and die. This makes this unique that you can actually take it in and use it as a conversation piece, a show and tell, or actually in a floral arrangement is what I do with mine. They're super interesting and an amazing feat from a little insect. They do say that if it's only three feet high in your garden or in your bushes, if they make a, a nest three feet high, then it will be a mild winter. If it's up in the trees on branches, it should be a very cold and a lot of snow in the winter. Now that's what the almanac says, and that's usually right, so we'll see this year. Also, we do have what is called a fake paper wasp nest. Now, they say that if you put this in your garden, and you can just buy these on Amazon, and they say if you put this in your garden, it will protect your garden a mile away from not having a paper wasp nest. This is not a proven fact. They actually look like lanterns. And what really got me was it's a paper wasp nest, but the company is called Bee be gone, and it's not even a bee. We're talking about wasp here. So how good does this work? I really don't know. You can try them out, um, but I prefer to have the real thing in my garden. Also, there are paper wasps. Now these are what we're more familiar with. These make their nest about this size or a little bit bigger, under eaves, in walls, things like that. They're about 25 when it's full blown going. But they don't even use their nest twice. I suggest if you want your 
garden to do well and they're really not bothering you, leave them. They're beneficial insects. They'll do your garden some really good stuff. But if they are in the way and they are bothering and become a nuisance, which they are very aggressive and can sting more than once, not like a honeybee, they lose their sting. Wasps do not. They can continue to sting you. Then have them professionally removed. Don't try it yourself. If you are being chased by bees, wasps, any flying insect that you need to get away from, do not run into a pool. They'll go right in there with you. The best thing to do is run for brush, a big bush. Throw yourself into it and move around just like this. What that does is a bee, hornet, wasp, all of them have ocelli on the top of their heads. This shows where the horizon is, up and down. When you fly into a bush like this and move around, diving into it, it messes up what is up and down for them and they can't actually follow you. This is Melissa from Buck's Beautiful Bits. Take a look on the website for other informational, educational garden tips. See you soon.